Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup look using almost all Wet n Wild makeup. Let's get started. It's so hard to be in frame when you're six foot. <sighs> okay, so to start off this Wet n Wild makeup look, I'm going to be using my Holy Grail foundation primer from Wet n Wild. It's the coverall primer, if you didn't know already. I freaking love this stuff. It's so good. So I'm just going to take a little bit on the back of my hand. Actually, that's too much but, you know, and just apply it to my face. Okay, so it's really hot out all of a sudden here, so I'm going to be using this Clinique Super City Block Broad Spectrum Oil-Free Daily Face Protector. I think it's oily, but it does the job, so whatever. Sorry if you guys hear meowing in the background. That's my 18-year-old cat who won't stop meowing. Okay, so I'm just going to apply a little to my hand. I don't know why I applied it there, but I did. There are a few things in this video that I use that aren't wet and wild. That's why I couldn't say all wet n wild makeup look because I don't have a wet n wild concealer and I have to be careful with where I put the eyeshadows or I'll get irritated because I'm allergic to them. Okay and if you guys were wondering what I used on my eyebrows today I used this Tarte, I can't even read it now, it's a medium brown like dip brow thing and I also used this brush from Tarte as well but I ripped off the spoolie because it was getting gross so yeah <laughs> okay so now for foundation I'm going to be using this wet n wild photo focus foundation and I'm going to be using that foundation with my your skin but better CC plus color correcting full coverage cream from it cosmetics so foundation this has a I guess I really didn't have to use that last product because this has a 50 plus SPF. Oh well. So I'm just going to apply some of this Wet n Wild on the back of my hand. I would just use this but I'm too, a little too dark for that right now. So I'm just mixing those two and this is in light for the It Cosmetics foundation. And the foundation from Wet n Wild is in the shade Rose Ivory. So I'm just mixing those together. Who knows how well these work together? I don't. Oh well. Just dabbing that onto my face. I need to go get my mirror. Ooh. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm just going to dot this foundation all over my face. Why am I tired from just running up and down the stairs? The shade actually looks spot on, so I'm pretty proud of myself because I kind of just guessed and you guessed it, I'm going to be using my dampened Real Technique sponge to blend it out. And today I'm not going to be putting it on my lids, so I'm going to be using a eyeshadow primer today. If you guys like my mirror, I got it at Home Goods. I think it was like $17.99. It's so pretty. My aesthetic completely. So now, again, I'm not using something from Wet n Wild because I don't actually own a Wet n Wild concealer, but I'm going to be using the Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline, which is at the drugstore too, so go ahead and pick this up, honey, because this is like the best thing ever.
Okay, so I just applied it here, here, on the tip of my nose right there. Just areas that I need to highlight, and then I'm just going to blend it out. Okay, so now to setting my face. For my under eyes, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette Contour in Dolce de Leche. I'm sure you've heard this like 5 million times if you've watched my videos before. So I'm just going to take the light shade and just go under my eye. What the heck? Why did I just pick it up with my finger? Oh. And just really concentrate it in the areas that I get oily. Or that my makeup looks to separate because of this wet and wild foundation. Then I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. brush along with the Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana from Wet n Wild. And just swirling that around and setting my face with that. Okay, so to bronze my face, I'm going to be using the other color in the Dolce de Leche palette on this Real Techniques Multi-Face Brush. Multi-Face Brush? Multi-Task Face Brush. And bronze myself up. This is actually pretty hard to do. Hold that mirror and tap off the excess at the same time. Okay, so getting some shape back in my face. That's great. And now I'm going to be using the same palette but in the shade Caramel Toffee and using the darkest shade with my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, taking some of that, tapping it off, and really focusing it in the hollows of my cheek. To really get a nice sculpted contour. To, to contour my nose, I've actually loved using this Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow brush that comes with the eyeshadow palette, the Monica the modern renaissance palette. I love using this side with my Dolce de Leche palette using the dark shade and just contouring my nose. So how I contour my nose is I go on the side and make skinny line right here and parallel to it on the other side. Then I'm just going to take and go across my nose and down here and I'm just going to blend it out a little using my Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to even that out real quick because I couldn't see anything. Okay, so now moving on to blush, I am going to be using, for starters, this Estee Lauder All Over Shimmer, looks like this, and I'm going to be taking my Luxie 522, you guessed it, just applying this to my cheeks. I used to just take this in contour and use it as blush, so it's just an all over shimmer, but oh I love it so much, but it works better in the summertime when I have a tan. It just looks better. Okay, then on top I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Color Icon 
blush in pearlescent pink looks like that and just topping off my blush with that blush you have to be careful with these blushes because they are really pigmented okay so i really like how that looks and now I'm going to be, for the best part, obviously, highlighting with two different highlighters. One's actually an eyeshadow from Wet n Wild. But I'm going to start off by using this Physician's Formula Shimmer Bricks. And what I like to do is take the same brush and go like this. I take like that and I move just like that. I don't get these four shades right here. But just go like that. And take and just highlight my face. I like to just take my finger usually and just do my nose. Okay, so now on to eyes. I'm going to be taking this, am I serious? I just forgot the best part of my highlighting. I'm going to be using the Walking on Eggshells palette. I'm going to be taking mostly the brow bone shade and some of the lid shade, so here and here. Using that same brush and applying it to my face, baby. Dang. Holy to that. I don't think you can because you just got blinded. Okay, so now on to eyes. I'm going to be taking this again. Not Wet n Wild, but it is drugstore. It's the Milani eyeshadow primer. I like this. But, as I said before, I only use it if I know that I'm going to need my eyeshadow to stay on a long time because my eyeshadow is not as pigmented when I use this because when I use concealer, it blocks out everything that I have on my eyes. I could try and use concealer powder, this powder, but maybe I'll have to do that sometime and see how well it works. So I'm just going to take a little bit. And just apply it to my lids. You don't need a lot at all, so this will last you a while. I actually don't know how much it is because I got it for Easter. But, and then I'm just going to be taking this Wet n Wild eyeshadow. For some reason, this doesn't irritate my eyes, but it's just a single eyeshadow. Oh, I don't have the name on it, but it's just this light cream shade. Just taking the other side of that Anastasia brush and setting my lids because that makes the eyeshadows glide on easier when you have your lids set. And I can't really use any Wet n Wild eyeshadows like right on my eyelid because if it gets into my eyes it irritates me like crazy. But I can try using the Sweetest Candy palette and I'm going to take the crease shade and just try and apply that in my crease without it hurting me too much and I'm going to apply it using this brush and I'm going to blend it out using my Real Techniques multi-task eye brush and I used the wrong side of course I did so I'm just going to take just apply this maybe I won't need my multi-task brush because this is blending out pretty easy this is hard to do though You guys like my hair? I just put it up into a ponytail, then I fishtailed it and put it around and secured it with some bobby pins. I think it looks pretty good, but just decided to try something new. Okay, so I'm finding out quickly that this eyeshadow isn't as pigmented 
as I would like it to be. It's a dark shade and it's not like that dark. So I'm going to go into my e.l.f. Matte for Matte palette and just go straight in with my multitask brush from Real Techniques using, hmm, I'm going to use this shade. Just apply it. The sun is washing me out today. It's not cool. Okay, then I'm going to use the shade next to it right here, just as some more depth in the eyeshadow. Okay, so then once again I'm going to be using something that is not Wet n Wild, but again, it is Drugstore, and this will last you forever, let me tell you. It's a L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. Let me tell you, I love this eyeshadow so much, so I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger, like, look, the pigment, and whatever else is on my finger, and just take, and just use my finger, I figured that it works, I have found out that it works best with my finger, so I'm just going to take, apply that, to my lids because I can't apply Wet n Wild eyeshadows to my lids because I am allergic. Uh huh. So get that the way you want it and then just take and blend it out a little. Then I am going to highlight my brow bone. I'm just going to take the brow bone shade in here. Lightly highlight it. Ooh. And for inner corner, I'm just going to use my Physicians Formula palette. Did you see that? I don't know. I'm throwing stuff everywhere today. Ooh, that inner corner highlight is popping. I look like a bronzed goddess. Okay, so now on to... Try to... I... Mascara. Yeah, I'll do mascara and then I'll do lips. So now I'm going to be curling my lashes using this eyelash curler. I don't know where it's from. But just taking and curling my lashes. Then I'm just going to be taking my Lash Blast Volume by CoverGirl. I think this really does remind me of the... Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Benefit? Is it Benefit? Yeah. I think it reminds me of that. It's really good. I would definitely recommend it to you. Unless you decided that you wanted to get like the $12 small roller lash because that'll last you just as long by the time that they dry out anyway. So get what you want, but they both are pretty good. Whichever is easier for you to pick up, I would definitely recommend purchasing one of them. It's like, oh, look at that gorgeousness. Do you guys think that I should do a video on like trying this mascara, not foundation, along with the roller lash and see which one I like better and if it's worth buying that mascara? Wow, well, I just got a clump there. Okay, but for lower lash mascara, I'm just going to be using, because, again, I don't have a wet and wild one, I'm just going to be using this Bad Gal Lash by Benefit. The wand is huge. I hate when I get mascara in my hair. So for lips, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Color in the shade Looking for Truffle. My brothers ruined it because they ruined a lot of my stuff. 
but it works pretty good as a lip liner too, so you don't need a lip liner with this. And you can apply gloss or whatever if you want, but I think I'm going to actually use something different. I don't think you would think to use this on your lip. I'm going to be using this NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. Oh my gosh, if you haven't seen this before. Oh, oh my gosh, I just used way too much. It is so pretty. I'm just going to take a little bit, apply it to my lips, because who doesn't apply stuff like that to their lips? So you could do that if you wanted, or if you were just going to go to the store or whatever, just leave it the way it was, and if you mess up on your lips, just use concealer, but you know, that's all. So I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know you did, and go ahead and subscribe down below, please, because we're going up so fast, I know. 37 wow but it's crazy to me so and also make sure for your own benefit to hit the notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a video thanks for watching